Right now at the United Nations, Second Gentleman Doug Emhoff is calling for a global coalition to fight what he's calling an epidemic of hate, anti-Semitism. Watch this. My message to all of you is the same message that I carried with me throughout my trip to Europe. We must all speak out against anti-Semitism and call out those who don't. Silence is not an option. Emhoff, who's Jewish, has been taking the lead on the White House's push to fight anti-Semitism, hosting a roundtable on this back in December, visiting Germany and Poland, including the former site of the Auschwitz concentration camp on Holocaust Remembrance Day. All of it to try to push for collective action on this. And that is getting more and more urgent, with anti-Semitic incidents hitting record highs here in this country recently, according to the Anti-Defamation League. NBC News White House correspondent Kara Lee is monitoring all of it. She's joining us now with more. We heard some of the second gentleman's message there, um, Carol, but talk about overall what the Biden administration plans to do to try to make a difference on this, what they want to see from the international community. Well, when it comes to the international community, Hallie, there's a couple things. I mean, broadly speaking, the White House and the Biden administration want more countries to invest more and to focus more on combating anti-Semitism. Now, more specifically, one of the things that they would like is to expand the number of countries, for instance, that f puts resources towards prosecuting hate crimes. So that's something tangible that, that they would like to see. They also would like to see more countries name a sort of coordinator to attack this issue and really take it on. And so what we're hearing from the first gentleman is an effort on the international stage to try to push some of those things forward. This is an issue that he's made, as you noted, part of his portfolio. He held a roundtable at the White House on this issue in December. He recently traveled to Poland and Germany, as he noted there in that soundbite you played. Um, and he's really trying to draw attention to this. As for what the Biden administration is doing on its own, the president has said he's going to put forward a national strategy to combat anti-Semitism. That's something that is a work in progress, that administration officials are holding meetings on trying to pull something together with various agencies within the government, but that's not rolled out just yet. And what we have heard from the president is that he'd like to increase the amount of money that's invested in securing up places like synagogues, for instance, which have been the target of hate crimes. And now we're hearing the first gentleman, or second gentleman, excuse me, uh, who is on the world stage pushing for this, saying that this is a, an issue that needs to have accountability and be, needs to be addressed. And, and also that's something that people shouldn't just talk about, that there needs to be tangible solutions here, Hallie. Carol Lee, live for us from outside the White House. Carol, thank you very much. Appreciate it.